Итак, знакомьтесь, моя в синем углу. Fanning out of the blue corner. Ему 32 года. Рост 177 сантиметров, вес 70 и 55 сота килограмма. He 32 years old. He stands 177 centimeters tall, weighing at 70.55 kilos. Его профессиональный рекорд 19 побед при 9 поражениях. His professional record 19 victories and 9 losses. Его стиль ударная техника. As a striker, представляющий Екатеринбург, Россия, Игор Голубцов. Его соперник Крапу. Fighting under the red corner. Бойцу 25 лет. Рост 172 сантиметра, вес 71 и 70 килограмма. He's 25 years old. He stands 172 сантиметра tall. Official weight 71.7 kilos. В его активе 16 побед, 2 поражения. Professional record 16 victories and 2 defeats. Его стиль MMA. Из красного Россия. Фото. Юсуп. Барс. Раисов. Рефери Цезарь Войцеховский. We look at the tail of the tape. For this lightweight contest. And height and reach on the side of Igor Golubstov. 25 years of age. Is Raisov. Raisov in the red corner. Igor Golubstov in the blue. And let's see what sort of show Raisov is looking to put on here. But Golubstov, oh, an acrobatic attack early on. Gives up his back to Boz. Yeah, Yusha Raisov is going to take this opportunity easily you know he, he, he is very accomplished mixed martial artist i've always been impressed with his boxing within mma but obviously he's grappling in this sort of position is second to none as well sometimes you see him defend or shoot for takedowns in a way he can manipulate his own body to to reach or bend to a defend takedowns very very high level athlete I remember when Daru Strong, once uh, from American top team, the former strength and conditioning coach over there, trained with him over in Grozny and said he is as high level an athlete as he has seen come through any of the doors of the gyms he's worked in, which is as, as high praise as you can get. Igor Golubstov is a tough, strong, durable, and big lightweight as well. That is another thing. Yeah, done a good job oh. there. Again, nearly, nearly getting up, but we're doing so. He's giving up his back. He's going to try and stand up. You see that right leg there, just giving behind that leg. That's beautiful technique. That just keeps Gustav from being able to stand up properly. He just strains it out and knocks it straight down the canvas. He just shows the level of grappling as well by Yusuf. is absolutely second to none. Yusuf is, well, will be very grateful for that acrobatic attack from Igor. He didn't have to fight for a takedown. He didn't have to work against the cage. The loose. Oh! If he needs to, he can do things like that as well. Stunning. But Galustov back up, trying to work back to his... With his back against the cage. There he goes. Find, find that wrist. But can maybe see, yeah, he can drag down. This is why he's take beautiful like, train rest and just changing his angles. Just like surfing around that body. Simply see him drive for a trip here. Oh, and again takes it down. And that's not the angle you'd assume he was going to take him down at, but pulls it and then manipulates his own body weight and momentum to take him to the mat in front of him. Great work from Raisov. This is a very, very strong, dominant start from the young man. Oi. Now switches again. Constantly attacking the base of his opponent. Yeah, now trying to take a step over those legs, trying to pull them away. So good job, he's in triangle, his legs, I believe. You can't yeah, see he's locked him up yet. Figure of four, he's got those, and we've seen him work from yet. He's really uncomfortable with that head. Driving it in the face of Eagle. Really making it uncomfortable. Still pulling into the back of Golubstov. Oh, can Golubstov break the grip now? Forward pressure once again. There we go. Now there's space. One minute 40 to play with as well. 
strong start from Ray Sub, but still plenty of time in this round for Goldstuff to make a mark. I think Ray Sub has got one of the, for, for me, the best jabs in MMA. So accurate, so fast. Yeah, look yeah. at that, and he works the second strike off it nicely. Time. And that's the thing sometimes with, with, in MMA, people are so used to having small gloves, they want to throw everything at the power of it. And sometimes a good, clean, crisp jab can knock your opponent down as well. And set up other shots, which he's doing well with pulling up a yeah, jab, then one, two. Oh, spinning attack there from the loose stuff. That's the thing with, with Igor, he's like, he's dangerous as well because he's not as technical. So suddenly when you fight someone who's not as technical, or not throwing how you expect someone to throw. Yeah, yeah. They're coming from different angles you, you don't expect. I remember in the gym with myself when I fight someone who's a bit more wild, it's a bit more tricky. I'd just rather take them down than stand up with them. <laughs> <laughs> nice jab there from the roof stuff. Spinning back fist from that. Uh, right, Isov connects. Igor eats it well. That's the thing with Igor, he, he's such a tough competitor. And this is why they want to put him in there with him. You know. oh, side there. Nice first round between these two. We looked for a response from Raisov off the back of that loss to Reznikov, and that was a superb start to the round, especially when he had him in control. The chain wrestling as well to keep him on the mat. We're going into the fight with, with uh, Artur Reznikov. There was a lot of emotional things going into that fight as well, but I thought he started that fight so well. I believe he won the first round, looked really crisp on the feet. Uh, it was just the second round, he ended up getting wrestled a little bit more. And it was, the third round for me was how you scored it. Yeah, it was a very close round again, that's why he was a bit, a bit upset. If we look at this, it shows the level of his own wrestling as well. You know, he had a beautiful technique. You know, if you were going to have like someone to explain and show techniques you get a picture of him up and say this is how you throw a jab I mean he's technically super sound round two set to go on the way scheduled for three five minute rounds we still have our co-main event Gasanov versus Frolov and our main event Ismail Ismailov versus Sturkov also got what I was saying, man. I know he's saying he's too, super technically sound, but this is what I love about MMA because sometimes it's not always about the best technique. Sometimes people can throw a, a, a punch from their hip and then come up and knock you out. That, that's what makes this sport so exciting to watch. Again, like that there, you are dangerous left hook thrown by Gumstoff. Eagle certainly has power the size of him compared to uh, Raisov. He looks huge despite the fact that Raisov came in almost a kilo overweight. Oh, that jab again. <laughs> Much more output from Igor this time. I'm sure they took... Oh, nice left. Really sat down on that left-handed Raisov. Yeah, that's a beautiful left hook. He's marked him up as well. That right eye has got a, a welt underneath it. Yeah. I'm sure Goldstuff's corner would have said... None of this cartwheel kicks, spinning kicks, let's stay technical, let's be in the fight, but let's not give him easy opportunities. No, he's looking for a takedown. Don't have to get double on this to turn himself off the cage. Maybe try and throw some knees up the middle here. He's going for the plum clinch, maybe. Oh. And again, that was more of a slip, I think, but look at the way Raisov, look at the arch in the back there, trying to just get a grip to work his way down, pulls away that basting ankle. That's the thing, what well, well, you saw in the first round, there was a mistake by Gustav by doing that spinning kick, he jumped on it, and then that, that wasn't a mistake, that was more of a slip, he jumped it, he doesn't miss an opportunity when it, when, when it, uh, when it presents itself. Three minutes now, Goldstock getting to his feet a little quicker. Still connected though, is Raisov. Yeah, they had a good job there. Good double unders and prize the grip away from Raisov. Big breath 
Very nice of us as they exchanged. As they separated, I should say. Yeah, Gulsov is making this a fight. Oh, I think he wobbled there as well a little bit. I don't <laughs> maybe, the, maybe just moving his head, but I thought he... Oh, and again. Yeah, I feel like he's been wobbled. Not quite rocked, but certainly his bell has been rung a couple of times. And you see the cut over the uh, on yeah. the eyebrow there as well. That's one of the, the most significant shot was that left up. Oh, Big takedown, Raisa reacting instantly when he hit the man. That's the sort of urgency you want to see from fighters for a get-up. Yeah, for, for sure, he didn't want to accept it. It's like, you don't want to accept any takedown. He'd be like, oh, I didn't get taken down. There was no control. That's what, in the gym, that's what I'd be like. You didn't get taken me down. You didn't control me. And so, like, that's the, that's the competitiveness with, with, with the use of Raisa. Doesn't want to let anyone want to win any part of any round. 35 seconds left in this second round. Very intriguing between the two. Both wearing the marks of this battle now. Raisov's nose reddened. Golstov with the cut on the eyebrow there, the right eye. Oh, another one of those jabs, Brad. That pushed him back. Yeah, there's blood coming out of the nose now. Oh, and, Raisov. And he, there's some desperation from Golstov as well. You see him trying to connect. He's so strong, though. Testament to also you know, being the massive underdog here, you could see someone when he, he's had some hard time. Good jab, very oh, stiff oh, jab oh. on that nose again. Oh, and again, Rice are pushing him back. It's a great fight. Going back to that wake up by the this take, take park. You, you got to assume that Gulsov is trained for this, like this is his World Cup final. Without a doubt, just look at the shape he's in now. Blood coming from the nose of Boz Raisov. And you think that maybe Raisov is taking this fight a little bit lightly. Well, we are assuming, we have no idea whether there was any issues with injuries or anything, illnesses coming into this fight week. But right now, both of these are putting on a show. 18 seconds left in his first, uh, second round, sorry. Yeah. Caught the kick and then took the trip straight away and working his way out. What a, a way to finish the round. Very, very impressive from both of them in this round. Both have had their moments, but again, for me, the cleaner work coming from Raisov and then just a little full stop on the end of it. Yeah, I mean, Gosov is there. He's definitely asking questions. He's bloody the nose of Raisov. Like, you kind of think Raisov would have had it his own way the whole night, but it's not been that case. He's making it very competitive. I do have Raisov up two rounds to, to nil, but like I said, he's asking questions. He's making it competitive. And he's dangerous. He's still dangerous. You can see Raisov is not coming through this without a few scratches, a few marks. And some That's that left hook oh. there, that rung the bell. But yeah, testament to Ghost of Azale, he took it. Another left hook, that was the knee of the middle where he fell over. And that's, that, that's where he lost his balance. That was that jab. Kind of knocked the timing off Race off as he was trying to go down for a shot. Yes, it out. Round three. Ready? Ready? Let's rock fight. Round three underway. Five minutes left in this lightweight contest. And what a contest it has been. And they come out throwing once again. Raisov in the red corner. Galustov in the blue. Switching starts. So be careful not to do anything completely silly. We were saying that though. He's got to believe he's two rounds down. He, he, he could try and roll the dice a little bit. A lot of blood now coming down on the back. That's got to be coming from that cut. Yeah, I believe that's opened up a little. Now, right, he's looking for this takedown again. Once again, work and again. It's just those little trips. The understanding of balance and momentum that he has when he's connected to you. How he reads you and gets you down with ease against the, a, a monster, a, a man at lightweight. Golstov is huge. And there's also going to be a real hard thing, you think now in, in the third round, 
four minutes after the round for Golsov to get up. And he managed it in round number two. Got back to his feet and got a few good shots off of his own, but he is bloodied, tired, and Raisov is continuing this forward pressure. Yeah, he's up against it at the moment here. See Raisov maybe, I thought he was trying to lay his leg and go through to mount. That's the thing with Gorsov's guard, he's like he's wide open, he can pass through the map whenever he wants, but he's choosing to stay in the half guard is a lot easier to control someone from that position. You'll see in the background there, Magomed Raisov, as well as Shamil Shakbulatov, and Ruslan, the striking coach, Magomed and Raisov, a, a symbiotic in their lives. They helped each other through so much uh, as martial artists and Shamil Shakhulatov, fantastic bantamweight, best friends with Yusuf Raisov, what a camp. Every time set up a, an arm triangle here. Slowly worked him away from the cage to take that factor out as well, good understanding Raisov, making it hard for Goldstuff to build a base, build a frame or have anything that can help him with that. All blood coming from the face of uh, Igor. Oh, shots coming down from Raisa. There's good top pressure here. Charlie driving forward, trying to keep himself down. Raisov didn't get that hand free, but also doing very well to control that left arm, the damaging arm of Raisov. Look at the arch on the back of Gors, just avoiding that switch. <laughs> And these short elbows, onto the back of the head there, but these short elbows they won't be bothering Raiso because while he's throwing elbows, he's not trying to stand up and he's not going to win the round, win the fight unless he gets back to his feet. No, he, all he is, he's just trying to shut this round down, you know, just not very minimal risk, just pass through there like a hot knife through bar. That was beautiful. Switch of the hips, slides into side control. Let's see if he goes from out or see if he works to work from here. It's a really hard position to get any sort of significant sort of strikes off it in side control. That's why people prefer either to go into mount or going half guard. Cool stuff using the cage there to try and create a little bit of space. Right, so looking to get back on track. That loss to Reznikov stopped a seven fight win streak. And all the questions we had about the weight cut and how it would affect him. He's answered them, only 30 seconds left. A very dominant performance. As you cut, you would like I say you would come to this bet, but you know, hats off to Golsov. He's made this a fight as well. Yeah, without a doubt, this has not been a gimme fight whatsoever. Somebody who's tough, someone who's big, strong, unorthodox as well in, in many ways. But Raisov, Raisov's Good talking try. to him. Raisov's talking to him, standing back up. That is good respect between the two. Nothing but respect. Very different from the end of Resnikov and Raisov. Yeah. As the result will be as well, I believe. Superb stuff from Raisov. How do you bounce back from a bitter loss like that? Well, this is the exact answer. Smile on his face as well. That's the first time I've seen him smile today. It's been all business, usually very, very jovial. But there's been an air about him where, yeah, he wants to make that the last time he loses and the last time he loses in that manner as well. But it'd be very interesting because the last time he was beat, he, he, uh, I guess, but, uh, he actually won the rematch. He, he trying to, he's campaigning for the rematch against Artem Reznikov. If he gets there, can he, can he shut that out as well? Yeah, well, that's right. He's avenged that other loss. Can he avenge the other one as well?
smiles there. Good job, big cuddle between him and his brother Magomed. They are truly a unit together, and it is a delight to behold how much they are there for each other through thick, through thin, victory and defeat. But tonight surely belongs to that man. Let's find out. We have our MC in the cage. Let's make it official. Let's hand it to Alexander Zagorski. Дамы и господа, по завершении боя единогласным решением судей победу одержал Лейзи Чанмен, your winner by unanimous decision, Юсуп Барс Райса!